I'm actually at a loss for words. I don't even know how to start this video. Hello guys, my name is Alter and today I'm going to be discussing something that I previously talked about that I wish that I didn't have to talk about again. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, my deduction was correct. So about two days ago, they were miraculously healed by a chiropractor, and apparently they're now alive, and now they're perfectly healthy and okay. Gosh, that's strange. <sighs> Let us begin. How's it going, extremist? Ah, uh, there it is. This is just me personally. If you're going to make a video about you actually not dying or turning after, like, a month from being away, then you should probably do it in a more serious video format, rather than make one in your normal video format because it seems just a little insincere. It's it is Extreme Games here, guys, and today we are back in Australia, finally! Ooh. It's been three whole months of doctors and doctors, and we're gonna tell you guys exactly what has gone down. This video is our story from start to finish of everything that's happened with our sicknesses and with our health. So get ready for this, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Then it must be the same conversation about my dick. Very boring, really short. And what sick ass nigga describes the story about their health as amazing? Bro, I was hit by an SUV when I was 11 and they had to get surgery. Really, dude? That's fucking amazing! Guys, before we get into this, we just want to address the haters that have been coming at us from all angles. So, basically anybody that uses both hemispheres of their brain, and essentially anybody that has normal common sense and doesn't believe their lies. Just a little disclaimer, I'm going to be constantly ragging on these guys this entire video, so just watch out. We want you guys to know the truth, and that is that we're not lying, and we are actually sick. Are you fucking serious? This nigga literally admitted to having vertigo, and that was killing him. It's normal state. And it's just like, on, off, on, off, on, off. And you just keep getting dizzy every single day for four years. That is not how it works, pal. That's kind of what's happened. Well, that is what's happened to me. Nah, but do you want to know why I don't believe them? You want to know why I'm such a hater? My reasoning as to why I believe that they're not telling the full truth is because vertigo isn't a fucking disease that kills you. And that's what we're going to explain to you in this video. I just realized that I'm not even done with the intro yet. This is going to be a long ass video. We just want to tell you guys that the loyal extreme is out there. We love all you guys and we want you guys not to be deceived by the haters. <laughs> Are telling the truth so just don't watch their videos the hate videos because it's not even worth it we are telling the truth guys yeah guys so it's all of you who's watching this video like it's not even worth it like why are you even watching like stop watching it's not even worth it i'm just a hater why hear both sides of the argument like that's so stupid why keep watching these videos circling this one topic like why get to the bottom of this why find out the truth and look for answers like it's so stupid why find out whether or not they're telling the truth because everything they're saying is obviously very credible like you should just believe them like why are you even watching <sighs> Fuck you. Guys, we hope you guys believe us, but whether you do or don't, it doesn't change anything because we are still telling the truth. You have yet to substantiate one valid piece of evidence that leads me to believe that you're telling the truth. Why do you think it was so easy to spanceling your argument in the previous video? This nigga said he had kidney disease, and this nigga said he had vertigo, and they both were supposedly diagnosed and cured by a fucking chiropractor you know like the people that help people with like back problems and shit the diseases that you guys claim that you have are way far out of the realm of a chiropractor's medical experience that's like a whole different ballpark bro no more like a whole different sport and a chiropractor is not even within the league of most physicians and surgeons but like we said we love all you guys out there and i hope you enjoy our story because we're super excited to tell you from start to finish what's been going on so, so many of you loyal fans out there have been messaging us on Instagram and Twitter and in our comment section saying what has happened. So in this video, we're going to tell you guys exactly what has happened to Extreme Games, Tommy and Johnny. Y'all went under the radar for three months to hide and make sure that no one would find you to come back and make it seem like you guys were miraculously cured and alive. That's probably not what happened. That most likely isn't what took place, but I have a strong feeling that it is. 
So basically, guys, it happened. I was sick one day. I had edema in my legs. We didn't know what it was at the time. And my dad said, let's go to the GP. We went to the GP. He told us to go to the hospital immediately. Because he, he took blood tests and saw my levels were all over the place. So we're going to show you guys some of that right now. We're going to pop up some sheets for you. So as you guys can see right here, you can see that my albumin and creatine levels were 733. And they're meant to be 2.5. And my albumin is 7,000 and that's meant to be below 15 that is crazy high so when the when the uh, specialist saw this they think okay there's a serious problem so they gave me three options you can get a kidney biopsy we can start you on a first dose of medication or a second dose of medication they were the three options at the time me my dad my mom we were all talking like okay which option are we going to choose we decided we're going to do a kidney biopsy because they said that that would tell us even more about what the actual sickness was yeah that's cool and all but in the last video you said that you've been taking medication for years and it was making you sicker so this just doesn't add up and in your last video you never mentioned anything about a kidney biopsy the chronological order of what you're saying is extremely convoluted and it makes it very hard for me to make sense of anything you're trying to say and this was the dude that apparently cured you you know as much as i hate to say it i really am not gonna lie when i say this but these guys are really really good at lying to you like it almost impresses me but here's the thing if this is just a little bit tricky for a 17 year old nerdy high schooler to try and decipher and i'm really trying to bring up my super sleuth form like i did last video then i wouldn't even want to begin to imagine what it could be like for one of their fans or anyone who's not past the age of 12 because what fucking 12 year old do you know if that fact check shit i know for damn sure that i was a fact checking shit when i was 12 and they would just mindlessly believe it even though the evidence they may have could possibly be forged ain't that some shit so that's what we decided to do so here's a paperwork for my kidney biopsy that i did which was painful i did it while i was awake i'll just i'll just put that out there but that happened it was really um pretty crazy you said that like we should care not a fun time so the results we got back from the kidney biopsy with it was this primary membranous nephropathy positive phospholate a2 receptor antibiotic 60 nephrotic syndrome like we could ever understand what that shit means. Nah, but it's essentially a kidney disease that affects the filters. Now, basically what that means is you got a kidney disease. That's a, the version, they, that's what they call it in the scientific term or whatever. So what happened was they, uh, all the results they got from my kidney biopsy, basically saying I got a kidney disease, which was very frightening as you guys would know. Um, no, you don't say. So obviously I took the tablets for two years. They didn't cure me. I didn't get cured. But when doctors start to notice problems in your health with the medicine they prescribed to you within a couple of months, maybe even weeks. I mean, don't get me wrong. I honestly could be mistaken. But that's not the part I'm concerned about. They said they were only going to suppress the problem, not actually cure it, which was obviously, I'm like, I don't want to suppress this problem. I want it cured. <laughs> okay, hold up. Let me but you still took them anyway. You know, in that six minute clip of him talking, there are actually a lot of continuity errors. Like this one. That it is. The fact that I took these tablets for two years and they've literally made me 10 times worse now. They said they were only gonna suppress the problem, not actually cure it. And they've literally made me 10 times worse now. They were only gonna suppress the problem. Now you see something. Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? You know, in this context, cure and suppress means the same thing. But that doesn't take away from the fact that in the previous video, he said that it made him 10 times worse when it was supposed to actually cure him, which doesn't make any fucking sense at all to me. Please explain. So what I then did was, I went to a natural healing doctor that at the same time couldn't heal me either. He tried, he couldn't. I still had my sickness. What did you expect? Then I went to a Chinese doctor that gave me medicine. It was like teas and stuff, didn't cure me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't think that drinking tea would help you cure a disease. Then I went to Dr. Bergman, as you guys saw three months ago. We went to Dr. Bergman, and for me, Dr. Bergman is an absolute legend. This guy is actually incredible, and he heals a lot of people daily. Dude, he's a small chiropractor that resides in California. I don't know what type of legend you think he is, but this really ain't it, Chief. And I will believe you except for the fact that this guy can't really heal anything outside of a backache. So I don't even know how you expect this dude to heal kidney disease. He does. He's a great guy, a great doctor, and I, I tell you guys, he's an awesome, awesome person. 
But um, he actually helped me reduce a lot of my edema. Did he heal me fully? No, but like I said, he's a great, great, great guy. And I tell you, if I had longer, but because we couldn't stay any longer in America. Where is my Get destination? Get out of my car now. Sir, I'm asking- You're ruining so many good memes and it's actually saddening. Get out you. of my car now. I have the right to tell you when to get out. But yeah, us Americans will want to get your ass out anyway. If I had longer, yes, he is a great doctor and most likely would have fully cured my kidney disease, which they said was uncurable. That's what the medical doctor said. Then he's lying because it can be treated, but a chiropractor can't do the job. Also, another point I just want to say to you guys is the medical doctor said I have four weeks left to live. Tommy was crying because he was upset in that video. A lot of you guys say, why did you say Johnny had four weeks left to live? That's what the kidney specialist told us. Please consider the following. You know, as a Sagittarius, I'm about to say this shit straight the fuck up. You are a bitch ass nigga. And I do not like you because you are a bitch ass nigga. What are you doing? I'm writing a letter to Johnny. Dear Johnny. You are a bitch nigga. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dear Johnny. Nigga. You are a bitch ass nigga. Now, a lot of people out there were calling me specifically a liar. Well, I fucking wonder why that is. And I really, I do not like people that lie. It's one of my things that I literally specifically don't do. I do not lie. I try my best at every single angle to not lie. And I think everyone out there should as well. No hate to anyone because I would never hate anyone for saying these things. You know, that's actually really funny because a lot of people hate you for the things that you've said. Bro, who the fuck do you think you're trying to fool? So now I want to show you guys, and this isn't to prove anything, this is for our loyal fans out there that actually genuinely do care about me. And I find that to be very sad, man. And want to know what is going on. Um, I have a bunch of files in this folder right now of tests that I did um, from doctors and what they were saying to me, what was actually wrong with me. So um, I went in as a really, really sick, dizzy nauseous kid every single day I was feeling dizzy and sick and off balance so I was like well what tests can I possibly do to find out what's wrong with me so I pretty much went to doctor after doctor I went to surgeon I went to a neurosurgeon and he did an MRI scan on me and he said that there was absolutely nothing wrong with me well gee I wonder why and he was telling me that it's all in my head now this is a wow. guy that I thought was very respected in this world that I did not understand about anything to do with health or any of that so I I go to the best and I'm like he's telling me it's all in my head so why am I feeling like this every single day why am I genuinely vomiting every day why am I dizzy every single day look nigga I know I've said this before and it actually should be pretty clear at this point but I just really don't believe this like vomiting every single day that doesn't seem too plausible for someone dying could it happen yes but for someone dying that seems just a little bit harder to imagine and the reason why the doctor told you all the things that he did was because you're not sick enough to be hospitalized so yeah you really kind of don't have a good understanding about the world of health the only plausible reason i can see all these things taking place is because it's all happening inside your fucking head seriously though who the fuck do you think you're trying to fool my nigga who you ain't fooling nobody but your dumbass self doesn't make much sense so it's kind of like imagine you had eye cancer you had cancer behind your eyes so you couldn't actually see it but it's there and then you go into the doctors and they do scans on you and they tell you it's not there and you can feel the physical pain every single day and you're getting told it's not there that's kind of like what i have gone through what that had to be one of the most confusing analogies i think i've ever possibly heard what in the actual orange fuck are you trying to say now back to what I was saying. So I went to a neuro, uh, a neurosurgeon, and he was telling me it's all in my head. He said, "What did you expect?" Well, I wonder why that is. Wowie wowzers. And he's saying the scans show nothing. Blah blah blah. So they said my hearing was within normal limits in both ears. Which I wasn't surprised at because I knew that I could hear properly. So I was like, I don't get why I would have a hearing problem. My speech audiometry was consistent with the audio. So that's when you listen to audio and you say what the words are saying. They make it really low and really loud in both ears and stuff. So I knew exactly what was going down. My tip time and no one knows what that word is. <laughs> I don't even know what that word is to this day. But pretty much, my inner ears were perfect. They're saying, you know what? Your ears are perfect, buddy. You have no hearing problems. I'm like, great. Why am I dizzy? And they didn't know that. And I'm just like, okay, we need to find something else. We need to go somewhere else. So then I went to an ENT specialist, ear, nose, and throat specialist. And these guys are supposed to know exactly about vertigo and all of that stuff. And I was just like, 
Well, give me some answers then, son. Once again, as you can see on the paperwork, they said I was fine and nothing was wrong with me. They Coincidence? I think not! They said this happens to teenagers at your age often and it'll pass. Oh. You know, this seems very reminiscent of something that I said. I have vertigo all the fucking time and I'm pretty sure that I'm not dying. Well, guess what, son? It still has not passed. So, he was wrong, clearly. Yeah, because it takes time for it to go away. You're not just gonna wake up one day and automatically it's gonna be healed. And it takes time for it to heal. You are a dumb monster! But yeah, I wouldn't put it past a dipshit like yourself to not know that. And that's another doctor down the drain, and it's just like, okay, so now what do I do? Where do I go? Is anyone gonna help me? No, you stupid son of a bitch! Is there anyone out there in this planet that can literally help me and get rid of these symptoms that I'm going through daily? I don't think so, pal. And I thought, yes, there is. Rock. Wrong. That is absolute Wrong. Proof. Let's go, let's go for a natural approach. Now, Johnny did a natural approach as well, and we got the same result. He did, he, he not only didn't help me, he actually made my symptoms worse, which was pretty bad as well. I don't even know what to fucking say anymore. <laughs> like, what would you honestly expect from my natural approach? Well, on top of it, going to someone that is taking a natural approach at it and is gonna help you, he made my symptoms worse, so- GET OUT OF MY CAR NOW! I am just- GET OUT OF you. MY CAR NOW! I don't know where I am! GET OUT OF MY CAR NOW! GET OUT OF MY CAR! So, I went down the same path as Johnny again, and we went to a Chinese doctor, he tried to give me, um, teas, and I was like, okay, well, maybe tea can actually fix my vertigo, my pimples, and my migraines, and my pains, and my nausea, and, uh, yeah, they didn't. What a surprise. <laughs> teas did not fix it, and the acupuncture. We forgot to mention Oh, that was painful. <laughs> if you've ever done acupuncture, you will know. With the help, uh, with the natural approach, he actually did a gut test on my gut, and as you guys can see here, my scans were off the chart. My gut was in such a terrible state that I don't even know how I was alive with these kind of stats. <laughs> Probably because you have a fake disease, but that's just me. It came to the same path once again as Johnny. We went to Dr. Bergman in California, and this guy is an amazing guy. He, he just loves everyone, everyone that comes in. He's helping little kids that are autistic, and when you see these kids come in, because we were there for three months, and we saw a kid come in and completely autistic, their arm is spazzing, their leg spazzing, and three months later, they can actually function relatively normal. It's crazy when we actually saw this happen. So he's, he's helping people with autism, with all sorts of problems, guys. And Dr. Bergman truly has love in his heart for everyone. So if you do need uh, a doctor out there, Dr. Bergman is a great person to go to. But now the conclusion. Where are we at right now? Now, this is a huge thing that everyone out there has been asking questions. Where are we at? How are we health-wise right now? And Essentially, what their conclusion was is that Dr. Berman basically didn't help them and they were kind of like still sick, but kind of better, I guess. But I don't know. But the reason why I believe that you guys are not dying is because this just seems way too staged. I believe that you're not dying because vertigo isn't even a disease that has the capabilities of killing someone. Anyway guys, that does it for this video. I know I said that I was going to respond to like the rest of it, but I really just cannot. I just can't bring myself to do it. But on another note, I'm actually going to be doing some more music stuff. And I'm also currently in the process of trying to get a new video out for tomorrow just so I can keep you guys entertained and keep content coming along. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please leave a big fat dislike. And please consider subscribing. It would really help out a lot. See you in the next video.